CompTIA A Plus Core 1 Complete Training Course. Exam Objective 4.2 Summarize Aspects of Client Side Virtualization. As previously discussed, desktop virtualization and the virtual desktop infrastructure involves hosting desktop environments on remote servers. In this model, the desktop environment, including the operating system, applications, and user data, resides centrally on a server and is accessed by a user's client device over a network connection. While this works great for many use cases, we do have another virtualization option. This option is called client-side virtualization, and it involves running virtual machines directly on the end-user device. In this model, a Type 2 hypervisor or virtualization software is installed on the client device, not a remote server, allowing users to create and run multiple virtual machines concurrently. Each virtual machine operates as an isolated environment with its own operating system and applications, enabling users to run different operating systems or experiment with software configurations without affecting the host system. Next, I will take you a bit deeper into this topic and show you what client-side virtualization might look like. Behind me, I have a laptop which will be referred to as the host device in this client-side virtualization setup. This device has physical hardware such as a CPU, memory, storage, and a network connection. This host device also has an operating system installed on it. So far, this setup is just like any other until I install a Type 2 hypervisor application. Once I do that, I unlock the power of client-side virtualization. With a Type 2 hypervisor installed on the host OS, I can create and control virtual machines, complete with their own isolated operating systems, applications, and data files. Each virtual machine will also be allocated a configurable portion of the host machine's physical resources with which to use, while you can configure the virtual machine with as little or as much resources as you would like. Just make sure to save enough resources for the host OS. Moving on, client-side virtualization provides a versatile solution for various use cases. Firstly, it can serve as a sandbox environment, allowing users to create isolated virtual machines for testing new software, experimental code, or conducting system experiments without impacting their primary operating environment. This ensures that any potential issues or conflicts are contained within the virtual environment, minimizing risks to the host system. Additionally, client-side virtualization is invaluable for software development and testing, enabling developers to replicate different operating systems, hardware configurations, or network setups for comprehensive testing and validation of applications. Furthermore, it facilitates the virtualization of legacy software or operating systems, enabling organizations to continue using outdated applications without the need for dedicated legacy hardware. Lastly, client-side virtualization supports cross-platform development and testing by allowing users to create virtual machines with different operating systems, ensuring seamless performance across diverse platforms. Overall, client-side virtualization enhances productivity, streamlines testing processes, and overcomes compatibility challenges in software development and deployment. Thank you for watching. Subscribe for more great content.